Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is Git Components by Class. Now you may have noticed based on that title, there's two different things we're going to cover: the Git Components by Class node and the Git Component by Class node. And if we run this example, you're going to see it says roundy thing and default scene root. What we're doing is we are looking for any components of a specific class inside of whatever actor we target and then returning back the result. So our get components by class and component by class nodes both take in a target of an actor. In this case it's, case, it's running on the actor we're running this test on. And it takes in a filter of the class that you want it to filter through, a component class. Remember, these are our components in our blueprint, and they all have their own individual classes. But you'll notice we ran this example, and we got two results looking for a scene component class. This first item is a default scene root, which is a scene component. And our second item is a roundy thing, which is a static mesh component. But we got back both of them. Well, that's because a parent of a static mesh is going to eventually get back up to a scene component. Scene component being a parent, and then it subclasses down until we get our static mesh. So keep that in mind. It's not going to find just the individual item. It will also find if it's a subclass or a parent class of that type. If I was to change this to static mesh component and hit play, we're only going to get a roundy thing because the scene component here, our default scene wrote, is not of class type static mesh component. We'll change this back. Now our output for the components by class is an array of the type of object that we're going to filter by. So if we save and compile, scene component is my class. My output is an array of scene components. If I was to change this to my static mesh component, compile, my output is going to be an array of static mesh components. So keep that in mind, your output is of the type that you filter by. Now if we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at the get component by class node, we'll plug this in right here. And we're going to run this, and you're going to see it says none. It says none because I'm looking for the component type billboard component. There is no billboard component, therefore the output value is going to be none. There's no object here, and it's going to print out none. If we were to pause this, not pause, debug, we'll put a breakpoint and hit play, and we look at that, our array is outputting the appropriate items. I'm going to step through this once. There we go two items. We have two items in our array because they're both of the scene component type. And if we were to change this to something like billboard, of which we don't have anything in, we'll run, we'll step through, and nothing happened because we had no items here. This array is going to be empty, which of course isn't really going to print out nothing because we have zero items in it. That's basically it. That's your node. Get components by class and get component by class. It's going to take in an actor for a target and a component, an actor component class type that we're going to filter by and return back an array of those types or an individual of those types. 